250 times 18 is $4,500. Do you recall the days when a single dollar could work wonders, filling your shopping cart to the brim? Those were indeed the golden times. Let's huddle together as I whisk you away on a journey back to an era when life was simpler. Grocery shopping was not just a chore, but an adventure. Welcome to American Vintage Tales. In today's video, we will journey through grocery stores that faded into history. Let's ignite the flames of nostalgia and celebrate the vintage lifestyle of USA in the 1950s and 1960s. Do you ever pick up a pair of pants when you buy your butter? These forgotten grocery stores from past once formed the backdrop of life in America. If you remember shopping at these stores, you might just be old enough to appreciate the rich tapestry of history. So grab your shopping cart and let's step into the time machine. We'll start with Kohl's. Everyone knows Kohl's quality, variety, and service. Walk in and save with super coupons. Not just a department store, but once a beloved grocery chain in Wisconsin offered everything from fresh produce to meats, embodying the one-stop shopping experience with exceptional customer service. Start with great meats from Kohl's, like our U.S. choice thin trim beef. However, the acquisition by Lucky Stores in 1983 marked the beginning of the end. The offer comes from A&P, which says it will own 63 Kohl's stores within the week. As Kohl's unique charm was overshadowed by the growing competition, leading to its closure in 2003. Next is the legendary A&P, also known as the Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company. Now we're saying yes to Michigan. A&P pledges guaranteed value. We guarantee the quality of all our meat and belly products. This gem from yesteryears was a cornerstone of American life, spreading its warmth across towns and cities with its pioneering spirit in grocery shopping. A&P was celebrated for its high-quality products at prices that didn't break the bank, revolutionizing the grocery world with the introduction of self-service shopping. This meant customers had the freedom to browse and select items directly from the shelves, a stark contrast to today's shopping experience. Have you ever experienced automatic cart, unloading an A and P, way to just push your cart up to the checkout so it would open and empty onto the conveyor belt? A process that didn't last. A and P stores were cozy, with a unique charm and shelves stocked with their own brand of products, from coffee to canned goods, often more affordable than other brands. However, as the pages of history turned, so did the fate of A&P. The Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company, better known as A&P, has announced it's closing 25 supermarkets in five states. Many customers have shopped here for years, and they feel emotional. Everybody angry. Everybody's angry. Yeah. But Struggling to keep pace with the modern, sprawling supermarkets and fierce competition, A&P faced financial hardships, eventually leading to its closure. And goods, household goods, up one aisle and down another. The way you save at Alpha Beta is positively amazing. Alpha Beta, too, was a household name, famed not just in California, but across other states for its welcoming atmosphere and helpful staff. Shopping at Alpha Beta was akin to visiting a neighbor, a place where cleanliness and organization reigned supreme. However, the winds of change swept through Alpha Beta as well leading to mergers and transformations that ultimately saw the beloved chain being rebranded and phased out. Run out, run out, too wide, and when you run out of anything, run out too wide. Do you remember the days when White Hen Pantry was the heart of the neighborhood? Scattered across the Midwest and East Coast, White Hen Pantry was more than just a grocery store. It was a cozy corner of America where you could grab not only your groceries, but also fresh sandwiches, coffee, and snacks. It was the perfect spot to bump into neighbors and feel the pulse of the community. With its numerous branches, White Hen Pantry stood as a beacon of convenience and quality, a trusted place for essentials, and a quick, friendly chat. The rise of larger convenience store chains began to overshadow the quaint charm of White Hen Pantry. Despite its efforts to keep up, the early 2000s saw White Hen Pantry merge with 7-Eleven, marking the end of an era for this beloved chain. Safeway's story begins in 1915, when it was founded by M.B. Skaggs as Skaggs Grocery Store. The original store, located in American Falls, Idaho, was a humble family business. Over the years, the Skaggs empire expanded, amassing a whopping 428 stores. In the 1960s, Safeway was part of the vibrant landscape of American supermarkets, 
From big cities to suburban shopping centers and valley towns, Safeway was a lifeline for shoppers. Safeway, a once thriving American grocery store chain, has faced closures for various reasons. Several Safeway locations were deemed underperforming by the company. These stores failed to meet revenue and profitability targets. In Dominic's Country Fresh Produce Department, you'll find some appealing savings on golden ripe bananas, just 25 cents a pound. Now, let's turn the pages back to another forgotten favorite, Dominic's. In its heyday, Dominic's was a name that resonated in every household, known for its unique shopping experience that set it apart from the rest. Dominic's was a treasure trove of fresh produce, high quality meats, and a staff so friendly, shopping felt like visiting family. It was a bustling marketplace, a slice of life from the 1950s and 1960s in America, where every visit was an adventure, and staff knew you by name, ready to help with a smile. This warm community vibe made Dominic's a beloved spot, a place where memories were made and shopping was a joy. However, as the years rolled on, Dominic's encountered hurdles. Union labor disputes led to strikes, disrupting the harmony and challenging the store's operation and reputation for stellar service. But then go for value at Kroger. Kroger carries more famous brands in more sizes. Back in the early 1960s, Kroger was like the cool kid on the block. Their supermarkets were popping up everywhere, and folks loved it. Imagine colorful aisles filled with fresh veggies, canned goods, and all sorts of goodies. Families would stroll through, pushing their carts, feeling like they were part of something big. But as the 60s rolled on, things got tougher. Other grocery stores started flexing their muscles, and discount retailers joined the party. Suddenly, Kroger had to hustle to keep up. The world was changing, and they needed to find their groove again. Oh, Kroger shut down its store on Home Road. Fazios, it was like that cozy corner store where everyone knew your name. The smell of bread baking in the oven greeted you as you walked in. The shelves were neatly organized, and the friendly staff made you feel at home. Fazios was all about community, where neighbors chatted while picking up their essentials. But as the 60s danced along, the winds shifted. Big supermarket chains started taking charge, and demographics changed. Fazios struggled to keep up. Bold red and yellow signs announcing Win Dixie. Families flocked to their stores, excited to explore. It was like a treasure hunt, finding your favorite cereal or that perfect bunch of bananas. Win Dixie was the heartbeat of the neighborhood. But unfortunately, the big players grew bigger, and Win Dixie faced headwinds and faded into history. Did any of these stores hold a special place in your heart? Let us know in comments below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to American Vintage Tales and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. We have a lot of amazing content coming your way, so stay tuned. And if you want to watch more videos like this one, check out this playlist right here where we explore more nostalgia and history from the 20th century. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.